Alright, Tom, Tom, here's your video over freaking kicking. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna have it on a T because, I mean, that's pretty much all you really need. Because <coughs> it's pretty much the same as field goal kicking. Alright, so if you can see the ball and see my T, that's a one inch T. And if you can look at the ball, I have it slightly tilted to the right because that's gonna open up more meat on the ball right here. So you can, oh darn, so you can catch it and you'll kick it farther. And I, I learned that at my kicking camp. So, all right, this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to line up. Say we're taking a field goal. You're going to line up like this. You're going to take one, two, three steps back like this. And you're going to look at your target. And then from there, you're going to take one, two steps over. Have your feet kind of apart so you can have balance and stuff. And when you take off, don't like hesitate or anything. Just go one, and then on your second step, explode at the ball like this. This is for this will be like a kickoff one because you're gonna want to explode as hard as you can. You're gonna come. And when you have, when you see the ball, keep your eye on the ball the whole time. If you can see my leg, it's completely locked. Keep your ankle locked. So when you hit it, it's just like a hammer hitting something. So it's just going to take off, and you're just going to send it like that. And when you do explode, you're going to, when you kick, you're not just going to stop like right here. You're going to swing through all the way up until it, as high as you can. That's going to create the ball to pop up more and you're going to get a lot more hang time and probably a little bit more distance. So, that's for kickoffs, but for field goals or just yeah, yeah, that's for kickoffs. For field goals, do the same thing. Have your holder have it slightly tilted to the right. So, outside, you're going to take one, two, three steps back. I know for the kickoff, I took three steps back and two steps over. And then from there, since I'm in my living room, I couldn't take my steps back from there. But I take four steps back diagonally. So it's, it ends up being about seven steps, and I just start jogging right away. All right, but anyways, for kickoffs, three steps back in line with the ball. Two steps over. And this one you're not going to want to explode as much on because you'll overkick the ball and you end up missing your target. So, just a nice casual jog. Maybe, I don't know how many, but kickoffs, kickoffs you're going to want to take bigger strides for. But this, I mean, just normal kind of just a one, two. And you're going to want to have your foot closer to the ball. Because if, if you have it way out here like, you, like I did for kickoffs, you're going to probably hook it this way. And for kickoffs, I mean, it really doesn't matter. But, all right, so field goals, you're going to want to have your foot even with the ball like this. And maybe a little bit, whatever feels comfortable. Like if you have it out here, maybe six inches or so, that's cool too. A foot at the most, that's as much as you're going to want it. And you can do the same thing when you have your foot locked, like this, and your leg locked. But you're going to have your foot tilted more to the side. Because kickoffs, you have your foot like this, just because that's going to create more power. For field goals, you're going to want to have your foot like this. Because this is going to be, this is going to open up your contact point, which is on the top of your foot right here, and that's going to create a lot of accuracy. So if you have your ankle locked, you're just going to swing through like this, and as soon as you make contact with the ball, you're just going to swing up. You don't have to swing up as high as you do for uh, kickoffs because you're not trying to get it as far, unless you're going to go for like freaking 70 yard field goal, which you'd be a hoe for. But uh, yep, so that's pretty much it. So this is what your foot should look like for a kickoff, which will be more like this, and keep your foot more down at an angle. And then for field goals, your foot's going to be like this. And then your follow through for a kickoff is going to look like you're going to hit the ball, and you're going to bring your foot way up, like almost like you're going to kick yourself in the face. But then for field goals, what you're basically going to want to do is just have the ball like this 
and you're just going to hit it and bring your foot up maybe maybe to your uh, maybe to your waist. But uh, yeah, and then another important thing was is when you bring your leg back, you should bring it back as far as your leg or your body allows you to. So if you can bring it way back here, that's going to allow for more power. And just keep practicing. Remember, have the ball slightly tilted like this, and just keep working on it. And as you, you get better with uh, locking your leg and stuff, you're going to be better using your contact point, which is going to create more accuracy and distance, and eventually it's going to create more height. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm out, dog. Peace.